initially, I got for the question for Ed's question though, I gotta go with Randy Orton to retire John Cena. It just makes so much sense. Uh, they both were developed at OBW. Randy's obviously a few years younger than John, so um, so uh, you know, um, so like he can literally benefit from retiring a guy like John, and then he can finally go to his part-time deal. Uh, you know, uh, and on top of that, you know, the story pretty much says itself. Like I said, they both come from OBW. Uh, you can you can also throw in there a little seasoning, which is you know. Randy's always felt like, you know, he was below Cena. You know, he, he's never really given a fair shot, you know, how he was supposed to be the real face of the WWE. And, you know, uh, uh, it, you know, it just makes so much sense. And, and on top of that, you, you know, we keep mentioning WrestleMania, WrestleMania. Well, you have to have this match at WrestleMania. You know, like, this is basically your Savage versus Hulk Hogan. And the fact that it hasn't happened at Mania yet is actually really freaking, like, shocking. Um... And uh, what's even more shocking is, is Randy beating Cena and retiring him. And on top of that, that I would bring Randy to like be officially like bigger than he already is, All, basically to that Cena level. Um, um, uh, and on top of that, you know, like you know, uh, Cena in real life shouldn't have any problem with it because, like I said, the, 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 they both came out of OVW. They've gone back and forth. They have a historic rivalry, uh, in a way. Um, and on top of that, I think fans would love to see that attitude adjustment turned into an RKO. Uh, so, yeah, that's pretty much a short, short explanation. I know it's not a lot, but I think you guys already know the history of John Cena and uh, Randy Orton to this point. And, and yeah. All right. Go, uh, go ahead, Luke. Who should retire John Cena? Uh, Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns needs to retire him for several reasons. One, Roman Reigns is already the most hated man in wrestling by most people. Or, he's the most loved man in wrestling by most by the most wrestling. Uh, he's really polarized and there's no in between. He has more hate than love, I would say. Uh, that being said, he is John Cena's 2.0. Uh, the only difference is he's not quite as good on the microphone at this stage in his career as uh, Cena was, not even by long shot. However, he used a little bit better, I would say, in the rain than Cena was at this stage in Cena's career. So, you look at the trajectory of improvement from both superstars, both men have gotten better every year than they have been at any. Um, I firmly believe that if pushed properly, as a heel, Roman Reigns can get over and then once he's over, organically as a heel, if you book him properly, you can turn him into the top base organically. So this would be how I would start doing that. You see, I would start actually with uh, Roman Reigns right now. We don't know how, long, how much longer he's going to go, so for the sake of, of argument, for my book, he's going to say he retires next year. So he, he's going to go full-time, movies, and when I say retire, we mean wrestling retirement. He might come back every, every three or four years and talk to us. Um, but, uh, for the most part, he's going to be retired here. So, um, uh, it's going to be like a retirement player retirement. Anyway, uh, you start off by having, um, Brother Reigns, uh, beat Taker at this position, at this Sunday in the WrestleMania. Then you have Taker stand up and try to give him the show of respect in this new yards. You're right, you know, passing the torch. And Roman Reigns spirits him. He goes full heel. So he already has all this hatred from being taken at WrestleMania, including two of those, which is on the street, and so they just won. And then you have, on top of that, he has the audacity to attack this icon, this, you know, almost a degree god of wrestling, at his show, this WrestleMania is his show. That's going to make Roman Reigns, the most hated man in wrestling by everyone, even his fans are hated. So then you have officially a major heel team. Well, guess what? About three or four months from now, when Cena comes back from filming the next movie, uh, he goes to Raw and he decides he's going to start getting a little bit more edgy. He's got more, uh, more stroke with the company now because they need him to stay. And uh, you find out that he's going to go back to the better now, which is not entirely because that would be unrealistic. But he's going to he's gonna kind of sprinkle it in a little bit more, kind of like the rivaling against Bob. Uh, so I start mentioning the fact that he beat Bob recently. Uh, and, you know, the last, the last time they 
want you to be proper. Now, you can be late to everybody, there is a big, big, all this stuff. So you have these two really big, really, really polarizing figures, and they're both kind of heelish. Well, oh, Ray's a mega heel at this point. So you have Cena is more of an anti hero at this point. So you have uh, Ray's go everywhere, right? He's got, he's, he's got the universal title. Uh, he's been chained to win. He can even throw him in with themselves. So they do so to over to uh, Jamal. They form uh, a, a faction called the Small and Outcast Society, SOS. Um, and they uh, they just go off and all three of those guys explode in popularity, but, you know, as heels. Well, then you see John Cena being his edgy anti hero himself say, you know, I can't, I can't have you taking my spots. What you're doing is what I did years ago. You're doing it. Uh, in, a, in, a, in an honest way, a dishonest way. Like, you're not, you're not the man, you're the guy who screws the man, that kind of thing. Uh, so the two of them engage in this rivalry where, she, where John Cena at this point is at an 10 year old best, which means there will be no haters. Because the one thing that everyone who hates Cena nowadays, is not the kids, says is that they, he's okay, but they wish he'd go back to the other So this what? He's from the comics now. He's kind of heelish now. He's anti-hero Cena now. And he's got everyone on board. So he's probably the most vocal person in the company. Like, more so than Marco. And you have the biggest heel in the company at this point. The difference for me is that Roman Reigns is going to be in the company for 15 more years. Cena is not. So you put them through a match. But you say that uh, Roman Reigns says that he's got no, no right to challenge him for the universal title. You can tell you might even have him beat Cena a couple times beforehand when I won. And then you say, you know what? If you want me to, uh, to put something up to go after this title, I will. I'm going to put my whole damn career. You know, he said, I'll do anything to get that 17th world title. And uh, I'll, I'll, I'll risk it all. So then you have the most older person in the company trying to break the record and get 17 titles. And then you have the most hated person in the company trying to stop it. And guess what? He does. He keeps Cena from breaking the record, and he retires Cena all the same time. He then has this nuclear level of heat. We're talking like 80s quality heat from everyone. And uh, and he goes on to be an absolute mixer. No one's ever touched him at that point. He's top of the field company for years. Uh, and then whenever the time's right, maybe a new guy comes through that can that can uh, that can work a good vibe with him and switch him into a face. Then you've got you know. Paul Hogan, to put up, and even a uh, so cool level uh, name. So yeah, there you go. That's my that's my movie. All right, uh, rebuttal time, Weston. Uh, first off, you didn't really answer the question. The question was who should retire, who should retire Undertaker, not what storyline would you go with to retire uh, John, uh, John Cena. Yeah. Sorry, sorry, I think I accidentally said Taker, but yeah. The whole, the whole question was, who should retire Undertaker? Uh, God, I keep saying Undertaker. Uh, John Cena, not how would you retire John Cena. Uh, and on top of that, Rome, Randy Orton's obviously got more history with Cena. Like, I don't even have to explain that. Roman Reigns really has no history with Cena, except for the fact that, oh, you know, we think he's Cena 2.0, which he's not. And, but, you know, that's a freaking uh, uh, debate for another time. Um, and also... You know, like, are you sure if that's the way you want to retire Cena? Is with people yeah. just booing the entire match because Roman's in it? Like, as much as I, as much as I like Roman, you know, I, I don't think I would have him retire Cena for the pure fact that you don't know how the fans are going to respond. With Randy Orton and Cena, fans are going to be more understanding about it, and Randy Orton would, would get, like, a lot more of a shine than anyone he has now. You know, and fans would be more accepting of it. Uh, and, and again, you know, the, the his, again, the history explains itself as to why Randy should retire uh, Cena. Roman Reigns shouldn't retire Cena because there's no history there. My turn. Can I go further about that? Are you done? Sure. Okay. I think I have uh, this one in the bag because, like... Well, here you go. Now, now let's this a little. So, um... Let me explain to you the difference between heel heat and X Pac heel heat. So, right now, uh, Roman Reigns is being booed throughout every match he's in because people protest to him being there at all because they, they feel like their intelligence is 
being lied to by this guy who has really not been looked like a face, pretending to be a baby face, and beating all the heels clean. They don't like him being in this spot. However, if you turn him into a heel, and you have him do heel things, you will see what he actually fits in the WWE world. So you'll okay. be able to uh, Do you mind me asking you a question real quick? Sure. Uh, can you can you explain please explain to me what history Roman and Cena have besides oh he's Cena two point oh which again he's not. That's the whole purpose. They don't. But have they, they, basically, basically, they basically, you're proving my you're proving my argument because again Roman and Cena have no history, therefore they wouldn't make any sense whatsoever. They have no history, therefore it's a fresh rivalry for him to go out on. They have no history directly with each other, but they have the history where everyone's exactly. impaired. So that causes that causes friction. Then you have the fact that it's the best thing for the for the WWE. And honestly, that's what Cena would want. Cena is a WWE guy. He loves the WWE. He wants to well, he wants to go out just like anybody. He wants to leave the next How generation. do you how do you know for sure though? You don't know what Cena's actually thinking. Well, I mean, I don't know what he's saying, but neither do you. And every time he's ever talked about it on any any surface, whether it be well, yeah, but but I'm not I'm not I'm not sitting oh, here being like, oh, Cena, Cena would rather do this than that. The question was, well, who, who I, should hire uh, uh, John, which is Randy Orton. Another argument that I have with what you said, I'm calling this since the very beginning, and with my rebuttal, I'll use that time to use that uh, argument now. You said, um, you said, who would it want? that minute. Who wouldn't want to see the RKO um, as a reversal to the AA? Well, anyone who watches wrestling regularly because they've all seen it. And if they lose the RKO countering the AA, it has happened. In the last match they had, I believe it was the Color of Cell match, um, the two of them fought and it became a, uh, uh, a pretty good match. I'm not going to lie, they're good matches when they, when they fight because to be fair, it's because they, they lessen the amount of restrictions that they put on the rest of us because they want to look be better. But, that's not the same thing. I mean, it's a good match. Solid, solid work for both guys. But it's something that's been done to death. And you even said it yourself. What benefit would that have for the WWE? Because afterwards, you're saying, uh, um, you want Randy Orton to go part time. I mean, what? Why would that, well, I didn't why would say I want him to go part timer. I said depending on how old he is when he retires, you know, you could, you could, you could have him go part timer. Well, because then it's can't be that far behind because they have basically have the same career. Except you know, Cena's got that better. Uh, Randy's thirty six and Cena's almost forty, so there's thirty seven, thirty eight, thirty nine. So that's a four year difference. You might at least, you might at most get two or three years of heat off of that, off of that retirement. Match, uh, that's not something that you want to go with possibly the greatest better of all time retirement match. Um, not wrestling. Well, how do you know your way is the way you want to retire one of the greatest of all time? Like, you already know your fans are going to turn on that match from the moment it, it happens. I mean, with, with, my, with my match, with my match, you have a better understanding. You have a better understanding of how the fans are going to react. All right, now, as I said, you make it organic. You make the moves. If you don't want to the move and they move, you have no control over them. If you want them to move, you can plan it how and when they move. So they're not going to move it in either the show because they know who's supposed to move. So when they move it, it's going to be the appropriate times. It's bad because when they move it, it's going to feel good because it's like, yeah, they're moving from the range because he's the bad guy. Okay, this makes sense. Wrestling is writing it. Um, and it would be different if he was to retire at the stage. I agree with you that if Roman Reigns was a baby face for the hiring John Cena, it would get booed out of the building. But this is not a baby face for Roman Reigns. Oh, oh yeah, and before I for, and like, before I forget. You did say uh, something earlier when you're make, trying to make your point. You said, "Oh, you know, uh, it, sh it basically should be a passing of the torch, and it matters for a young talent to retire Cena." Well, so uh, like, uh, like, uh, basically, with that, with that argument, so are you okay? Like, for example, uh, John Cena, Randy Orton, obviously two established stars to this point. Uh, same thing with Ric Flair and Shawn. When Sean retired Rick, it was still an emotional moment, and it still impacted, you know, it still impacted WrestleMania, oh, hold on, and it still impacted a WrestleMania and a story, and it made a lot of sense, because, uh, you know, same same thing with uh, 
Randy Orton and John. Just because these are two guys that we've known for a long time and they're established doesn't mean doesn't uh, it, it doesn't mean that they can't pull off a good WrestleMania moment or that oh it won't be as good because oh you know we've all seen them for a while you know. Again, like I said, I I pretty much win because I've got a better understanding of what to work with here. Right, yeah, if you look at that protocol, um, I'll say that I think your match would be fine. It would be good. It would be okay. But you're okay. You're, the question is who should retire that? Not, not who will, not who, not who you want to retire that, who should retire that. Who, who would the wrestling industry gain the most from if they retired him? That's what the word should implies. Um, the wrestling industry would gain But it their, doesn't. It doesn't, though. See, you don't even understand the question. It's who should, which Randy Orton should. Because again, oh, there's endless history. Putting there. Opinion on it. I'm, putting my opinion on it. I'm not putting my spin on it. You are. You're the, you're the one that went on like a huge, you know, booking end of stories to basically struggling to make yours make sense. When mine, you know, again, the story tells itself. Because we all know Randy Orton should. I, I, I should. I think they should do it. Because the thing is, this is an opinion-based argument. So I book my matches out each time. To show you why it might be this way that it is. That is a part of my argument. Yeah, but he, he didn't ask you. He didn't ask you to book a few to make it make sense as to why this person should retire Cena. He simply asked you who should. And uh, like I said, Grant Jordan should. Open range to retire John Cena. And I guarantee you, everybody would agree with me unless they have just have an unnatural hatred of Roman Reigns because they know it wasn't open business for its nose. Your top star drops. Uh, Listen, Dr. dude, this uh, is coming from a guy whose favorite wrestler right now in the company is Roman Reigns, and even now, I don't think he should. And he shouldn't. Well, he should. And now, uh, now we would have a different, we would have had a different d- debate if Roman would have had some history with Cena, because, uh, but he doesn't. So it wouldn't make, so like, even, even, like, even, uh, e- even if all this stuff was going to happen, you don't think there's going to be fans? You don't think there's going to be fans hitting in their seat at WrestleMania being like, why the fuck is this happening? It makes no sense. Because I would have that face. Fuck down about Roman Reigns three times in arguments with AJ Styles. That could technically be history. Maybe Roman Reigns heard it, but there are different shows with him doing things. Now they're on the same shows. He's going to do something that big dog. Who are the fire? Who, who, who? Fork, fork, fork. That's a big dog. You know? Like, the idea that they don't have any answer is important because I apologize for using the phrase. It's it's, uh, it's ridiculous because no one um, no one has has, has no history in WWE. There there's always a time at a house show or at a, maybe at an interview. I mean, do you not think that Roman Reigns has been asked how he feels about John Cena and how John Cena? I know for a fact John Cena has been asked right about Roman Reigns over and over. Again. Well, sure, but all your fantasy booking stuff and all that, it's basically going down to assumption. You're assuming all this is going to pan out and work because they have no history. And, you're, and, you're, and I know you're, you're basically proving my point because you're struggling to make Roman, you're struggling right, for, guys, to make guys, sense well, for Roman well, to retire well, Cena, which is One final time, one final time. Well, one final time. Why, why is, um, okay, we'll, we'll start with Weston, okay? Why is Randy Orton uh, a better fit to retire John Cena than Roman Reigns? Go ahead. Because, because they actually got history. They could pull off a very fun match. Uh, and uh, on top of that, you know, just, just the thought of, like, Randy finally... Because, again, like I said, there's already built-in story. And at the ending, it would, it would be a satisfaction. Cause it would be like, oh, my God. You no, know, Randy finally did it. Not only did he beat, you know... Uh, well, I shouldn't, I shouldn't, I shouldn't say beat, but not only now has he proven to be better than John Cena, but he just retired him. Like, oh shit! Oh well, oh wow. All right, uh, go ahead, Lee. Why is Roman Reigns a better fit to retire John Cena than Randy Orton? Because one, it's a fresh, exciting contest. It's passing the course, just like it was with Harley Race and Ric Flair. Ric Flair to Sting. Ric Flair to Hulk Hogan. Ric Flair to Macho Man Savage. Let's pass a lot of torches. That's not important. The important thing is, um, it's, it's what should be that Hogan to, to uh, Ultimate Warrior. When you have a top guy who's no longer in their prime, you have them, but if they're still able to put on a good show, as they exit the company, they put over the next top guy. Now, there are certain exceptions to that rule. You can just 
level of legendary status, you should be able to choose when you go out and shoot. Like Tiger should have been able to shoot to go out and John Cena, not Robert Reigns. Um, the player did choose to go out to Shawn Michaels just because of the how much they had for it. Despite the fact that they had zero, I'm going to use an argument against me, I'll use their argument against you. They had zero uh, interaction as the thing on camera before that match, really. They never rivaled with each other, they never really fought each other. They were never considered to be perfect on camera. But or they shoot more than rivalry, and I think you said it was a wonderful moment. So, your argument is not all as far as that goes. Um, then you come into the, to the fact that you know, I'm a guy who will benefit, and not only that, but you use the key to get you that as a field. Pardon me, I'm going to try to run People use the key to get you that as a field to be able to give the book to other baby faces that are coming up for the next 15 years. He can always be the guy that, that retired John Cena. Randy Orton can sometimes be the guy that retired John Cena. And again, you want to talk about how Randy Orton first in all this history, you're right, they do. Randy Orton currently holds more victories in major matches against John Cena than John Cena has a victory over Randy Orton. So it would not be just, oh, he's finally won this thing, and oh, he won again. Okay, cool. Because Randy Orton is winning in that rivalry. So in order for that to be one of those finally one thing, you just have to fight 13 more times. I don't know the exact number, but I know he has more. Um, you just have to fight a whole bunch of more times, and you don't want that. No matter who you put in there, if it's a retirement against John Cena, a retirement match, people are going to see it. It's not about waiting to this point. It's about what's best for the company, what's best for the, what the wrestlers, and what John Cena would most likely want to do. John Cena does the most likely wants to do whatever it is that man thinks is best for the company at that time. Because that's what John Cena likes, has always done. With a few exceptions, like the Nexus, he does have something small bit. So I'm not saying that he even doesn't have a chance of wanting to do some of those. But if he had a chance to pick someone to retire him, I'm pretty sure it would be the rough. And it, 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 it was for selfish reasons, because he had that rubber match. So honestly, his choices are relevant in this matter. But if it was, I feel like he would more than likely pick us. Uh, you know, whatever we would be best for the, 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 the but I know this. I, I know basically we're down to final road. But you're phrasing your answer as if he asked you, "Oh, you know, who should John Cena pass the torch to?" And that's not the question. Like I said, I don't think you. I, I I don't I don't think you can fully understand the question. It's who should I repeat? Who should retire? John Cena, which is Randy Orton, it's not, oh, well, guys, just because you to pass the torch, you know, you know, even though it don't make sense, because really, uh, there's no history dates, you're going to pass the torch, guys, come on. Let, let me explain the fundamental uh, values of the English language to you. The word should, in this scenario, means who would be the best person to do the job. Now, that's exactly. an opinion, okay? It is your opinion that... that uh, not, not really. That's why you picked him. Like, like if you would if you would have said Kurt Angle, that's an opinion. But, uh, but like again, the question is who should, who should, uh, you know? Also meaning like, uh, you know, who would make the most sense to retire John Cena? It's it Randy Orton. Roman Reigns doesn't make any sense to retire him. It really doesn't. You, you would you would have to you would have to create a mystery there before Roman Reigns would retire Cena, because there, there is no history. Are you, are you, assuming, are you assuming that Johnson's uh, retirement match is going to have no build up to it? Like, that's, that's preposterous. Well, no, that's, 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 not, that's not what I'm saying. That's not what I'm saying. Build up and history with each other are two different things. Okay, we're going to run in circles again, so why don't we just get a point and then have done with it? No, we're not going in circles. You just don't understand the question. Like, literally, like... If I, if I, if I, if I should easily win this argument because you clearly did not really answer the question, you know, because like, I, like, if I, if I seriously don't get this one, then I actually just, just like, I don't know what's wrong with that, but yeah. Because, well, like, seriously, that, like, again, you know, you did not get the question. So you, you pretty much, I pretty much win this by default, and right, if that doesn't right, think right, so, guys, guys, you know, that he's all right, clearly, all right, all right, all right, all right. doesn't know Let me just, what, what, what his own question is. Uh, okay. Anyway, I'm not okay. And, and, and a question, uh, a question like this, you can go either way. What's that? This is kind of like a, uh, a just for fun argument. Um, so I've got three points, so I can't lose. I'm going to lose for some reason. So, uh, go ahead. Who would be the most 
Alright, um, in a question like this, you can go either way, okay? And, uh, it doesn't Wait, matter, like, uh, it, it doesn't, it doesn't really matter, well, hold on, hold on, hold on. It doesn't really matter, like, uh, if you consider it to be one thing and, uh, Lee consider it to be something else. It always matters of what you see the question as, and, um, it all depends on how passionate you so are. So basically and what you're telling on, me is I can, on, any on, question you ask me, I can hold turn on, it. Hold on, hold on, hold on, just a second, just a second, just a second. Okay. Okay, so you're looking at the question and you're saying like, okay, uh, this could be, you know, it's because of history and stuff like that, and, uh, Lee says it's, it's supposed to be like a passing of the torch type of thing. Um. It's tradition, actually. Yeah, so, so it's, um. It's not about tradition. So, um. Well, well, Weston, you can't have history without tradition, so... Um, the thing is, okay, so, uh, Lee says that it should be like a passing of the torch, um, but he kind of shot himself in the foot when he said, like, Ric Flair passed the torch to this guy, and then, yeah, then that didn't work out, then he passed it on to, to another guy, and another guy, and another guy. It's like, okay, and... Well, Ric Flair has a 30-year career, that's yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, I get, I get what you mean, but it's like um, if you do that, then uh, what, what is it to say that uh, Roman doesn't go far, and then uh, Cena has to pass it to another guy? But uh, with Weston, Weston also, again, Weston also shot himself in the foot when he said that uh, you know it's all about history. You know, you, you, you know, Randy Orton and John Cena has history, and then he brought up the example of Ric Flair and Shawn Michaels. Well, Flair and Shawn uh, didn't have any history before their match at WrestleMania 24. So, it's kind of, it's kind of even right now, uh, when it comes to that. Um, so, Roman and Randy Orton, both have great choices, and, um, it's very apropos to have either of those guys to end Cena's career. So, I will... The, the hardest part of the uh, of the show, by the way. Oh come on, it's not that hard. Like again, like this is gonna show me a lot of what you how you view your own questions. Yeah. Well, no, but like if he if he like like, there was, like the only other person that probably should have retired John Cena that you could have came up with that I would probably agree with is Kurt Angle. The Rock is another. Like it, I'm actually shocked of all people you pick Roman because doesn't no, doesn't make any again, sense. Again, 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 you mentioned you mentioned Kurt Angle and Kurt Angle. Uh, you know, just I don't know, like him retiring Cena. Uh, <sighs> that would make you. Well, no, my, my my point is that they have history, and and you know it, it would at least make a little sense. With Roman and Cena, I'm sorry, that doesn't make no sense. They have no well, history to play well, off of. I mean, dude, if you if you really wanted to do it, if you were serious about your passing of the torch and making such an entire like John, you you should have gone with someone like Bray Wyatt. Someone to actually, I, you know, I will like, go, again, I will, has his... I, hold on, hold on. I, I, I came up with the answer, all right. And this is something that Lee should have mentioned, okay? And just because he didn't mention this, I'm going to go with Weston and give him the point. Now, Lee, there was one thing that if you mentioned this, I would have given you the point, absolutely. And that is, what, how did Roman debut? Yeah, and uh, like, what was his debut? How how did he debut? The Survivor Series, he put right back through it through a name. And he costed uh, John Cena the WWE title in a Triple Threat match, no, right? He lost right back. He lost right back the title. Yeah, John Cena was going to be in that match, but he was injured, so it was right back to CM yeah, so... They were brought in originally because they were going to be GFO Tippmann, but they changed the idea around and became in with the Justice Yeah, so, so they kind of have history there. So if you mention that, 
and like you know them actually crossing paths a few times when Roman was a part of the shield then yeah I would have been like okay uh, that that makes a lot of sense um, you said like the passing the torch I like the idea of that of him being the heel but but then again you kind of got the match out of the way beforehand you had you had Roman face Cena a few times before their big match at Mania so it kind of took away from that match and as for Randy Orton they haven't really faced each other in a long time and they have long history and them being like two big stars yeah I gotta go with Weston uh, yeah, it, it could have gone either way, dude. So just like you, you shouldn't, you, yeah. should, you shouldn't feel bad and uh, that you didn't get this because it could have really gone either way. This is like I probably give it like fifty-one forty-nine.